Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing Attack on Titan. This is season one, episode two. That first one, yeah, some good world building, getting introduced to some very interesting characters, getting to see what they're like. And then the shit hit the fan towards the end when this big fuck off Titan fell from the sky, destroyed the wall, and then all the smaller Titans made their way in and just started doing what they do, which is eating people, apparently. And, and one person in particular that we got to know in the first episode, yeah, Aaron's mom. Sorry, I don't remember her name. That was really tough to watch. And that's actually where they left us off. It's just her getting eaten while Hannes, he dragged away Eren and Mikasa. So where are we going from here? I, I know there's something about this city where it's it's like several walls. There's outer wall, inner wall, another inner wall, I believe. So now they've breached the outermost wall. That's my guess. So are they going to be able to repel them once they get further into like into the city? And yeah, I have a lot of questions. Clearly. I'm sure, <laughs> clearly, I'm sure we're going to get some of those questions answered in this episode and uh, in future episodes, of course. Do you have anything you want to say before we start the episode? I just got my second jab. So my uh, arm is a little bit sore. Um, so if I look uncomfortable when I do stuff with my arm, it's just because I, yeah, it, yes, yeah. You got vaccinated. Yep. Vaccinated. 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 <laughs> vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. And you can, of course, always check out our full length reactions where you can sync up the footage with your own copy of the episode. We also have early reactions for some of the shows that we are doing, including Attack on Titan. It's all over on Patreon, and the link is down in the description below. And let's go. Ima kara 100 nen ijou mae, jinrui ni aru tenteki ga arawareta. Kare ra to jinrui no aida ni wa. Oh, we're getting a law drop here. Great. Iki no kotta jinrui wa Maria, Rose, Shino ni nitsu no kabe o kizuki, so ko de 100 nen no heiwa o jisugen saseta. Shikashi. However, <laughs> epic music ensues. <laughs> <laughs> really gets you in the mood. <laughs> mm, the crows and such must, must be having a field Feast. day. A feast! <laughs> feast for crows. <laughs> Not at all. Ooh, titans got hot bellies. Hot bellies and small titan kits, or small, you know what I mean. Smaller. Oh, that's so disturbing. <gasps> Stop it! But I get it. I t I totally get why he's yeah. Definitely. お前が母さんを助けられなかったのは、お前に力がなかったからだ。俺が俺の巨人に立ち向かわなかったのは、俺に勇気がなかったからだ。Again, she's experienced something like that. Maybe that's what happened to her real family. Maybe she's getting visions. I don't think you need to tell people they have to hurry. その役割通り、巨人たちの標的となった志願しなくの住人たちは、たった一つの内門から脱出するしかなかった。That's oh, wow. brutal. The way they're doing that. 
だ今はやめておきなさいかわいそうにあの様子じゃよっぽどえ急げもう目の前だぞ My fire when ready? Fit some people on top of it, or I don't know. But what's that? Oh, it's the, it's the big, one. big one, or is it the same? Doesn't no, look no, kind of different, right? Oh damn. Oh fuck, it's getting ready to pound. Shit. It looks like it like the flesh has been stripped off of it. And it's just skin, bones right? and muscles. Yeah, sorry, the skin, yeah. It's just flesh, bones and muscles. I don't even think it's gonna help closing the gate. It's just gonna yeah, go right through it. It's breathing fire. The fuck? What is it? The Shiganshi has been captured. But, in fact, it has been captured to the Wall of Maria. Well, just now, the time the Wall of Maria was captured, the Wall of Maria was captured to the Wall of Maria. Jesus fuck. あの家には二度と帰れない。どうして最後まで六でもない口喧嘩しかできなかったんだ。エレン、この世から一匹残らず。All by yourself. It's gonna be a tough one. Ten thousand people. Oh. 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 You must get there. What to back to the basement? And that stuff hasn't happened yet, right? So Eren does have the ability to kind of like see glimpses of the future. Of course. どうせ巨人が壁を越えたんなら、もっと食って減らしてくれりゃよかったんだ。ディーデ。ファキンケイトン。ファキンケイトン。ファキンケイトン。ファキンケイトン。ファキンケイトン。ファキンケイトン。
<laughs> they basically sacrificed 20% of their population for the. And Armin just lost the rest of his fucking family. I, I would want Mikasa by my side <laughs> going into battle, that's for sure. <laughs> to keep you from dying. <laughs> Okay. They grew up. A lot of passage of time here. To be continued. I actually thought that we were going to be following them like as kids for a little while, at least. More than two episodes, but... Maybe we'll get more like flashbacks. flashbacks. Yeah, we might. We might. Well, that was the second episode. Got a lot more information, a lot of passage of time going on here with you know how they are handling this attack that we saw at the end of the first episode. How the 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 whole society, how it's it's built with the walls. And apparently the city that Aaron lived in with his family and Mikasa and so on, that was kind of like a like a bait city. So it was, you know, on, like further out from the outermost wall than many of the other cities. So if the Titans attacked, they would attack that city and then maybe they could like they would be able to close it off and do something about it. And, yeah, I don't know. Um, we definitely also learned about like how people from further in, how they see the people who live towards the outer wall, that there's a lot of classism going on, as you mentioned. And then that really big thing that they also explained where they sent out about 250,000 people, which was about 20% of the entire population, sent them out basically to just die so that they will would solve uh the, the food crisis uh, I, I don't think they sent it out specifically to solve the food crisis but it was like uh in danish we have this saying uh hell you hell where it's like in unlucky circumstances you have some sort of luck or there's a positive side to it or whatever yeah it's and just some sort of silver lining i guess yeah yeah so i get <laughs> It's just it's, it seems so morbid in a way to say like oh it's a silver lining or at least there's yeah. some, but at least there's fucking brutal some good to come of it but not really because it's oh, yeah still so many people dead I totally or we totally get why someone like Aaron and so many others are reacting the way that they do like one thing is losing family members and losing the people around you but the way that it's fucking mm -hmm. happening. They're being eaten. You're seeing your fellow humans, people, and as I said, family members being eaten like alive. Like fucking carrots. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Even though we had carrots, um, even though they, yeah, they're of course um, comparing people as well. Ah, don't Sorry. even. Don't even. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But yeah, they're comparing people to cattle a lot, mm. and it's there's a lot of talk about, well, what can we even do against titans foes like these if we don't have the strength and yeah I'm, I'm very curious about also some of their defense mechanisms and yeah we saw they had cannons which didn't do much but like since they've been able to build these giant walls don't they have like bigger and better weapons a bigger army i don't know and then of course we, in the end we saw uh, Aaron and Mikasa and Armin being being trained amongst others to go out and kill Titans, but yeah, they they must have more than that, more weapons, more 
options. I don't know. It's just frustrating to watch mm. so many die and people basically getting sacrificed. Um, but it, it's a it's a big community society uh, inside of the walls, at least. Uh, it, it seems like it's it's bigger than than I than I thought it would be actually. Even though I had the measurements in my head, where it's like two hundred and 200 to 250 kilometers between each wall. That is a lot of space. Um, and I don't know how many people there are in total. I'm sure I, we could do the math if 20% was 250,000. One million. One million. There we go. Yes. <laughs> but we also saw that, of course, Aaron's father uh, survived and he was making his way back. And he was like, I hope nothing happened to like any of them. He's in for a very grim surprise, although I'm sure he knows by now with all the like jumping in time. And I, I, I must admit as well, I got a little bit confused with, was that a dream? The thing that Aaron had with his father? Dream or, or a vision? Or, or a something? vision, because did he have the key beforehand or did his father take it with him? I, I, I think he got the key. He did get the key before his father left. I think... Yeah, oh, I don't know. That that's what I'm thinking then, or maybe he did. You know what we saw happen there, even though it was very difficult to see what was actually happening with when his should, father when, holding him down. When when would that have happened? I know the, in between all of the time jumps. <laughs> I don't know because in the end, Aaron was so much older, and you could hear it was a new voice. So that wouldn't fit with the vision that he had, where it seemed like he was still young in that vision where his father like held him down and said, this is for your own good. Um, and just make sure to take this or to take the key and go back. I'm sure he was referencing the, the basement again and that there's something down there. Yeah. Maybe we're supposed to be a little bit confused we about are. that. We are. Yeah. Let's just. Yeah. But it might have been a vision mm. or in, cause he, he was feeling odd the day of the attack like he did uh dream something he was drifting away and then yeah. he had some sort of vision or at least something that made him feel uneasy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then the attack happened yeah 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 so there must be a connection between what he's seeing or dreaming or like there, there must be a connection between that and something that happens whether it's a, a vision or a dream or uh, it's it's very hard to say but there's yeah and the same thing with Mikasa. Mm -hmm. She did say, um, she did have sort of like, she was seeing something, whether it was actually flashbacks or it if it was also... Some sort of vision, uh, in, in a sense. I'm, I'm thinking flashback because after that, it was either after or before that, that she said that it's happening again. No, that was just before we saw the flash okay. or while... Yeah, while it was it was happening, yeah. So I'm I'm thinking that's a memory, and that has something to do with what happened to her family, and the reason why she's she was with Aaron's family, and that yeah, she lost her family. And the questions, questions, questions. <laughs> I had a lot of them before the episode started, and I still have a bunch. But now they're being trained. They're a little bit older and uh, maybe hopefully soon they are going to be able to to fight back and actually take down some of these titans. I don't know about the, the really big scary ones like the one that broke the, the wall in the first episode and then the one who just came fucking running at the gate in this one and just powered through and looked like was breathing fire almost. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? What the hell even are these things? Where do they come from? Are they intelligent? There must be some sort of intelligence in there. What? I, I can't hear um, the sentence, where do they come from? Without thinking. Oh, no. Couldn't I do? Don't even, yeah. <laughs> and now that I got that thing stuck in my brain yep. as well. Great, great. <laughs> Let's just ban those words all together. <laughs> yes. Or will that sentence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyhow, yeah, the Titans, it's, it's still a big mystery. And I'm very curious about like how sentient they actually are. Do they have some sort of goal or purpose like beyond just eating people? We got a little bit of a lore drop at the, at the beginning of this one. 
uh, where they told us about, well, at least the Titans showed up at some point and then just started killing people, most people, uh, until the humans were able to, to build these walls and, and they had about a century's worth of peace before this shit happened. So, yeah. Do you have anything else you want to add to this one? I don't think so, no. Fair enough, fair enough. Then that's going to do it for this reaction and review of Attack on Titan Season 1, Episode 2. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.